Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third performance of your 2013 LeDuc Black Gold Rodeo, kicking around since 1969. Hello, everybody. My name is Joe Braniff, and for the next two and one half hours, I'm going to be doing my best to keep you good folks abreast with what's happening in our world of professional rodeo. You know what? 44 years of history have been made right here in Leduc, Alberta. Cowboy history, Western heritage, if you will. And on the Saturday Night Live edition, we keep that history alive and well. We do so by presenting to you a group of hard-riding cowgirls. Ladies and gentlemen, would you make welcome your very own Leduc Black Gold Riders. Are they good or what? Woo, ladies, nice job. You know what? We'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the very special banners that they are carrying. And we trust that you will lend a little bit of that famous Leduc hospitality as we introduce them to you. Starting with the flag of 44 years of rodeo history, make welcome your very own Black Gold Rodeo Flag. During that 44-year history of rodeo, there's only been one stock contracting firm that have supplied all the bucket horses and bulls and everything else that goes along with rodeo, and that is the North Cobb Rodeo Company, headquartered out of Carolina, Alberta, and we salute their great banner as well, the North Cobb Rodeo Company. Over 48 rodeos have been approved for the 2013 CPRA professional rodeo season. We're talking the Canadian Professional Rodeo Association. If you're watching the best the sport of rodeo has to offer, you know you're watching a CPRA approved rodeo. Here's the flag of the Canadian Professional Rodeo Association. We come a little closer to home to some of the great corporations and businesses and merchants that have once again stepped up to the plate to make this rodeo a reality. And we wave the flag proudly of our good friends from Iron Brothers. Iron Brothers, thank you for being a part of our corporate family. We'd also like to give a tip of the proverbial cowboy hat to the guys and gals and the crew from Brant. Brant Tractors, proud sponsors of this year's Black Gold Rodeo. And don't you dare touch that dial, it's 790 CFCW. Let's give a round of applause for 790 CFCW joining us at this year's Black Gold Rodeo. 
The official pickup truck of professional rodeo in Canada and the United States is Ram. Ram pickup trucks. We fly the flag proudly of Ram pickup trucks. And speaking of Ram, we'd like to welcome the boss man of the rodeo program from Ram, Mr. Bronx Stott, to our rodeo. And last but not least, let's give a big warm welcome to the banner of Leduc Car and Truck Wash. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a collective round of applause for our family of corporate sponsors. At this point in time, we'd like to introduce to you our officials and dignitaries, starting with the two cowboys who ride tall in the saddle during the course of the bareback and saddle bronc riding. It'll be up to these two gentlemen to ride on in, ease the cowboys down onto the ground safe and sound, and escort the buck and stock out of here in a safe and fastable manner. Two of the very best in the business. Let's meet them right now as we say hello to our Ram pickup men. Make welcome Mr. Dell Northcott and Mr. Wade Grover. You know, you couldn't have a rodeo without a little bit of beauty and pageantry, and we are loaded with that at this year's Black Gold Rodeo, as we have some visiting rodeo royalty with us. This might be the very first rodeo outside of the Calgary Stampede that welcomes a state rodeo queen. I'm talking rodeo royalty from south of the 49th parallel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to give a big Canadian welcome to Miss Rodeo Colorado. Say hello to Sarah Faith Weens. This beautiful cowgirl from Larkspur, or Sedalia, Colorado, won not only the public speaking, but the coveted horsemanship award, and she'll be vying for the crown of Miss Rodeo America in 2014. We go down the highway a bit to one of the greatest rodeos in Canada, the Strathmore Heritage Days Stampede. It's one of the main stops on the tour, and we are so honored tonight to have their beautiful queen with us. You know, he, there's a lot of history in rodeo. She's the great great grandniece of Pete Knight. Say hello to Miss Strathmore Stampede, Becca Walters, and she invites you to her hometown rodeo come the end of July and beginning of August. Wow, beauty. Well, let's go to the brains, supposedly. The two gentlemen in the striped vests, our Wrangler Pro Rodeo officials are chosen on the grounds of their working knowledge of the sport of rodeo and, of course, their honesty and integrity. An important factor they're being selected to officiate at this year's professional rodeo. During their heyday as competitors, they rode the hair off the wildies and the bareback riding, but they bring a wealth, a wealth of knowledge to our rodeo in the officiating capacity. Let's meet them right now. From Raymond, Alberta, would you say hello to Mr. Ward Henry from Patricia, Alberta. Make welcome Mr. Cam Morris. You know, we're going to go back to a little bit of rodeo royalty. I don't know how many of you are fortunate enough to ever attend the Calgary Stampede, the greatest outdoor show on earth. There's a whole bunch of things to see there and a bevy of beauties from rodeo queens across North America wide. But in the 100-year history of the Calgary Stampede, dating back to Guy Wittick, our First Nations people have always been an integral part of the success of the Calgary Stampede. And each year, they have a Calgary Stampede Indian Princess crown. Tonight, would you make welcome the Calgary Stampede Indian Princess, Amber Big Plume. Amber, so nice to have you with us. Thank you for joining us at our Black Gold Rodeo. A moment ago, we talked about Ram trucks, and I'm going to give this gentleman an official introduction right now because he wears many hats at our rodeo. He not only represents the official truck of Pro Rodeo, but he's also the gentleman who's responsible for the smooth operation of tonight's rodeo performance. In cowboy vernacular, we call him a shoot boss. Ladies and gentlemen, would you make welcome our shoot boss, Mr. Bronk Stott. You gotta have cowboys, cowgirls, and corporate sponsorship to put on an event of this size and magnitude, but you also have to have that nucleus of men and women, the volunteers that make up what we call a rodeo committee. You've got one of the greatest rodeo committees in Canada, right here in your backyard. And we'd like to acknowledge them right now by introducing to you the vice president of the Black Gold Rodeo. Say hello to Mr. Trevor Wallace. Forty-four years of history and one stock contractor. It's amazing. Since the late Harvey Northcott, 
brought his first pan of bucking horses and bulls to your town. This great rodeo family have been supplying the livestock ever since. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to give a collective round of applause for the Northcott Rodeo Company out of Caroline, Alberta. Ace Northcott, the stock boss, is back there behind the chutes. Make the whole family welcome tonight, if you would please. A moment ago, we touched briefly, touched briefly on the rodeo committee. Well, for the last... 15 years, maybe longer. There's been a big tall cowboy who's always stepped up to the plate, got things done, whatever needed to be done, he'd roll up his sleeves and do it. A couple years ago, the Canadian Professional Rodeo Association thought enough of this man to honor him as the Committee Man of the Year in Canadian Pro Rodeo. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the president of the Black Gold Rodeo. Make welcome Mr. Dave Rock. At this point in time, we ask you to rise and gentlemen, remove cover. As the first lady of Canadian professional rodeo, Miss Rodeo Canada, Jillian Shields, does us the honor of flying the beautiful red and white maple leaf banner, symbolic of our great land. We call to the microphone last year's country idol winner, singing sensation, Tanya May, as she delivers her rendition of our O oh, Canada. Oh Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, our true nor strong and free from far and wide. O oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on God. Thank you, Tanya May. Beautiful job by a beautiful lady. Now, our dignitaries make their way out of the arena. We want you to make a little bit of noise as the Black Gold Riders take us out of here, LeDuc Rodeo style. All right. It's that time. Here's the loaded question of the night. Who's ready to ride the hair off the wildies in the bareback riding on a Saturday night? The bareback riding sponsored by MNP. Let's get to it. Let's go to shoot number three, the Can Elson Drilling Bucket Shoot. Pincher Creek, Alberta is home to a young superstar by the name of Bobby Peters. Bobby Peters is a cowboy who's come up through the ranks of boys steer riding, and he's drawn the warrior from the Northcott firm. You gotta scream at him. You just watched the most physically demanding event of road, Bobby. You okay, buddy? You all right, partner? Do we build him tough or what? Say hello to Bobby Peters. Now to recap as to what has happened and what the bareback riders are up against. Thursday night, Ty Tapatat of Regina was with us. He was 84 points on McCarty Rose. Last night, Michael Solberg of Sunny Nook, Alberta was 84 points. 
Judges are telling us to tell you 71 is all we can muster for Bobby Peters, 71 points. Okay, let's bump it a little bit. The Chemco Electrical Contractors, suit two. Clayton Bunny, Cessford, Alberta, ranked number two in Canada. He was 83 and a half last weekend to win the championship in Bonneville. He's been on a roll, 86 last night in Grand Prairie. He's drawn a big white horse. That's known as AKA, also known as a handful. The way it works, the laddie, the cheer, the heart of the buck, the top of the ride. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Woo! You want to talk about a cowboy who's found his groove. That was nice. Watch what the boys from Ram are going to do. Pick him up, put him down. Say hello to Clayton Bunny. You're looking at about a five-time CFR qualifier. Number two in Canada. You know, the cool thing is you can look on your Gearhead Media replay board. Look at this. Watch his feet. The heels of the adjusting boots. Jerking up towards himself in perfect time with the horse's bucking efforts. Here come the numbers. Give them 82 and a little bit more from you. 82 points. Shoot number one, Land Design Limited, Boyd's Excavating. Focus in. Here comes the wild man from a Soyuz, British Columbia. Too wild for the West, too fast for the movies, and hotter than high school love. The Cash Man, Cash Kerner, and Tassel Tosser. And watch this six-year-old sorrel bucking horse get with the program. Come on, Cash. Yeah, somebody ride with this kid. You take a look at this wild buckaroo from beautiful British Columbia. He looks like one of the cast from the movie Tombstone, huh? That's a Western-looking dude. Here's what the judges tell us. The judges tell me to tell you that he gets the option of another horse, huh? Okay, he gets a re-ride. Who thinks he ought to get on another one? Yep, he's going to take him up on their offer, I guarantee you. Shoot four, Savannah Drilling. Danny Phipps, Cochrane, Alberta. Watermark is kind of a blue roan, kind of a gray bucking horse and shoot four. Danny Phipps, he knows what the pressure of competition is all about. He's been to the Canadian Finals as a novice bareback riding superstar, and he's been among the best in Canada in the open division. This is a college-educated cowboy, school teacher, bucking horse rider, and one of the best that we have. He needs to turn his luck around. He's going to have to be 84 and a half or better to be the new top gunslinger in town. Now you've met the Wrangler judges, Ward Henry, Cam Morris. They've got a theoretical score of 100 points to work with. They've got 50 points maximum that they can award the bucking horse with. That's based on the degree of difficulty there is to get them covered. How hard they buck, how high they jump, how hard they kick. They've got 50 points maximum that they can award the cowboy with. And that's judged on the man's ability to maintain a bucking rhythm with the animal. Set the heels of your Justin boots over the break of the horse's shoulders when the front feet hit the ground on the first jump out. Then lay back, jerk your knees up towards your own head in perfect rhythm. Denny, let's ride, buddy! Whoop. You know, I don't think you got to be a rocket scientist to figure out that you're watching the most physically demanding event that we have in the sport. You consider you get a 165-pound cowboy on one end of his riding arm and 1,100-pound bucking horse on the other end. The wear and tear on the human body has got to be tremendous. Now, we're going to check with our Wrangler officials again and shoot Boss Bronx Todd just to be sure of things. Are we saying, gentlemen, it's a re-ride. And if you're wondering why, you would have seen on your Gearhead Media replay screen that the horse kind of brushed him off coming out of the chute gate. That's an automatic re-ride. That stuff will happen. So Denny Phipps gets another kick at the cat. Deloraine, Manitoba. Here comes the Keystone Flash right here in chute number four, the Rigget Oil Field bucking chute. Anybody here from Manitoba tonight? You watch this kid ride. He's been to the CFR. He's the real deal. 
About five foot eight and 170 pounds of bareback payment spur and sensation, Colin Adams, Mamacita. Yeah. Oh, it's good to have this young man back on the rodeo trail. He sat out most of last year with an injury, corrective knee surgery, and he's back. He's been to our Canadian Finals Rodeo. We're proud to have him. Why don't you welcome him to your hometown? As we say hello to Colin Adams. Now remember, 84 is the benchmark, and then we've got a pair of those, and then an 82 for third. Colin, you want to hear your score, buddy? How does 82 and one-half points work for you, buckaroo? Put him in the number three position. It's a rematch from a lot of rodeos in the DK Ford Buck and Shoot. The all-time great Dusty LaValle, the four-time Canadian champion. About a dozen trips to the Canadian finals in the bareback riding and a couple times to Las Vegas at the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. Bazance in Alberta. My mistake from the Northcott firm. At Pinoca, at the great Pinoca Stampede last July, this cowboy and this horse partnered up for a championship ride of 86 points. He's been 87 and 88 points on this horse at the Calgary Stampede. The world champ, Bobby Moat, was 90 points on my mistake. You gotta holler right now. Come on! Oh, Dusty, say hello to the four-time Canadian champion. I'll tell you what, his beautiful wife and his two little kids are in the stands tonight. I met young Austin in the dress room. Before we give you that score, why don't we welcome the four-time Canadian champion back to your hometown once more. Could you do that? Make Dusty and his family feel good about their trip to Leduc. Here's what the score is. Are you ready? Sharpen your pencil, hold on to your hats. Give him 88 points. Wow, put a little bit of pressure. Curtis Kessler, my sound man, says the heat is on and it is at that as we go to the Can Nelson drilling buck and shoot. Justin Miller. Billings, Montana. The Montana gunslingers are on a big old horse in the Northcott firm that we call Colt 45. All I can say is you better have your pistol loaded and your hammer cocked if you're going to get this one covered. Okay? Montana in the house. Our first American cowboy of the evening. Now what we want you to do is the moment that we crack the latch, we want everybody to bestow a bunch of Canadian hospitality on him. But before we do that, oh my goodness, there's somebody that I forgot to introduce in our opening. Ladies and gentlemen, he's been here before. He's out on a day pass, and you can thank Iron Brothers for bringing him back to your town. Say hello to Dennis Halstead. We'll get to you, Danny. Here comes your Montana buckaroo. Wow. You think that rodeo isn't a tough sport? You're looking at one of the toughest athletes on the planet right there. Justin Miller, Billings, Montana, the big sky with us. Judges, arithmetical wizardry. Take, take a look at the condition of this horse right here, huh? Well, they're born, bred, and raised to buck. Fat and sassy. Don't ever let anybody tell you that a stock contractor doesn't care about the livestock. 69 points going to be the score. 69 points. Now let's go back to the guy, <laughs> the character, yeah. the rogue yeah. that I was about to introduce to you. Say hello to Dennis Halstead, your rodeo entertainer. How are you, buddy? Hey, I'm glad you made it. Sorry, I'm late. I know, you're always late. What's going on? No, my wife made me eat supper before I came. Well, she's just looking out for your health. No, you ain't seen my wife cook, buddy. <laughs> my wife uses a smoke detector as a timer. Oh, stop it. At our house, we pray after we eat. Dennis. Yeah. Dennis. She, and then she woke up grumpy this morning. 
She did? We're standing in front of the mirror there getting ready this morning. Yeah. She's in front of the mirror. She says, look at me. My hair's gray. My skin's wrinkly. Everything sags. She yeah. says, She says, you need to pay me a compliment. I said, your eyes work great. Hey, hey, that's enough. You need to quit picking on your wife. Let's go to shoot number five to the Riggett Oil Field Supply Buck and Shoot. Cash Kerner. Remember the Osoyoos buckaroo? The man who is the leading cast member from the movie Tombstone. Six guns. A Wyatt Earp Colt. A wild horse born a buck four-legged sensation. Cash, get the money, my friend. Come on. Help him, LaDuke. Yeah, yeah. That's two head of bucking horses. We're going to try and put him down safely, and I want to tell you something. If you ask the cowboys that ride bareback horses, broncs, or bulls, they'll tell you that when you climb aboard one of these animals, it's like a 45-minute workout. That's two 45-minute workouts in a 10-minute span. That's a cowboy. Treat him like one right now. Here's what they're telling us. 77 and a half on six guns. What, you didn't like it? Oh. Huh? They sound a little upset, Joe. They sound like they're getting a little ugly. Huh? How many think the judge should ride the horse? <laughs> You're going to start. I was just asking. Uh, I was taking a survey. Oh, uh, no. Uh, Savannah Drilling. We're in their bucket shoot. Now, remember Danny Fitz? Yep. He got peeled off on the shoot gate, remember? Yep. Now, you were about to get the judges in trouble, but I'm going to point something out. What? They are wearing the white hats. They're the good guys tonight. They huh. said Danny was, was fouled at the gate. They've given him another horse, another opportunity huh? to make some money. He got an option? Yes, he did. I wish I would have got an option when I got married. Oh, now, stop that. You guys are coming to my next wedding. Your next one? There won't be another one. Never again, huh? No, not a chance, buddy. Oh, boy. You know what I learned about marriage? What'd you learn about marriage? You know how many divorce men it takes to change a light bulb? No, how many? None. They didn't get the house. Uh. I don't want to change any light bulbs. <laughs> I'm not a light bulb changer. Here comes Danny Phipps. Yes, Denny and McCarty Rose. They were leading the rodeo on this horse up until a few minutes ago. Yeah, Denny, that's more like it. That's more like it. That was nice. I want you to look on the Gearhead Media Replay screen. You watch how Denny's going to lay back and get in sync in time with the horse's bucking efforts. Watch this right here. Here he comes at you out of the bucking chute. See him? Set to go. Watch where the heels of his boots are. Right over the break of the horse's shoulders. Then every time the horse hits the ground, the heels of the boots go over the shoulders. That's a nice ride. We're going to see how the judges liked it. Not bad at all. Give him 78 and a half. 78 and a half for Denny Phipps. All right.